Hi there, this is Paola with Bark. Today we'll be talking about how to set up monitoring on your child's iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Our monitoring feature is what makes us unique. We alert you about potential issues found on your child's texts, photos, videos, and more. Our monitoring uses machine learning to analyze context, not just keywords, to detect instances of depression, bullying, self-harm, and anything else that may need your guidance. Our monitoring feature is only available on the Bark Premium subscription plan. If you're not on premium, upgrade today for a free seven day trial. Our other major feature known as screen time and filtering allows you to block inappropriate websites, set schedules of what apps and sites they can use at what times and more. Screen time and web filtering is included in all Bark subscription plans, but it's not what we're gonna be setting up in this video. You can find the steps for setting up screen time and filtering in a separate video called how to set up screen time on iOS. And that link is in the video description. In the meantime, let's get started in setting up text message, photo and video monitoring for your child's iOS devices. For the first time setup, you will need your child's iOS device, a Windows or Mac computer, and a charging cable for your child's iOS device. You'll be using this cable to plug the device into the computer for the first time setup. As a parent or guardian, you will have been prompted to download the Bark desktop app onto your home computer. On Safari, downloading the app looks like this, and on Chrome, downloading the app looks like this. When the download completes, click on it. On Mac, you will then be prompted to double click on the Bark dog that appears. On Windows, you'll instead be prompted to run the installer. And after some time, there will be some loading and the Bark desktop app will appear. Next, we need to pair the Bark desktop app with your Bark account. If you've never installed the Bark desktop app on this computer before, then select setting up the first time at the top and click on one of the two pairing options, either via the app on your phone or via a web browser on this computer you're working on. If you've installed the Bark desktop app on this computer in the past, then instead select already set up before at the top and follow those pairing instructions. Once the Bark desktop app is paired to your account, it'll change how it looks to this. Now plug in your child's iOS device. If you have multiple, let's focus on one device at a time and we'll come back to do the others later. Now unlock your child's device with their pin code and look for a trust computer prompt and tap trust if the prompt is present. Now on your Bark parent app or the Bark website, you should be seeing this screen. If you don't, no worries, here's how you get to it. Find the child that this device belongs to and tap on monitoring, select add device, then Apple slash iOS, and you'll eventually reach the scanning for devices screen you see here. When your child's iPhone, iPad, or iPod appears in this list, select it. It will then begin the analysis. You'll receive an alert via email and push a notification once it's time to unplug the device. Otherwise, leave it turned on and plugged into the computer. At this stage of the process, it's, it's making a copy of those texts, photos, and videos I mentioned previously, and it's saving them to your computer first before sending it all over to our servers for analysis. So the speed of this first time analysis depends on the number of texts, photos, and videos your child has on their phone, which you can imagine can be hundreds of gigs sometimes. Future analyses though will take less time since it's gonna be analyzing less at, at one time. This first one is a big old chunk of stuff to look through because it's gonna go up 60 days back in analysis. So once the whole process completes, the progress bar will disappear and the last analyzed timestamp will update here. This indicates that Bark servers have received this information and have analyzed it for worrisome content like bullying, sexual content, or anything else like that. If we find something alarming, you will receive an alert. You can receive alerts via email, text message, or push notification if you have the Bark Parent app installed on your device. This is separate from the Bark Desktop app. 
keep in mind that the Bark desktop app is just a tool that analyzes your children's iOS devices. All account management can be done on your mobile phone as a parent with the Bark app or by going to bark.us on any internet connected device. Before we go check out our Bark dashboard or Bark parent app for any potential alerts, let's verify a couple of things on the computer to set us up for success. First, we're gonna check and if applicable, adjust your computer's sleep settings. The reason being is we want the Bark app to run in the background and sleep can prevent it from doing its job. On Mac, you'll get to sleep settings by selecting system preferences, battery, and uncheck marking the option that says to put hard disk to sleep when possible. You want that disabled. Repeat that step for the power adapter if applicable and keep the lid open for big chunks of the day if it's a laptop. On Windows, you can find it by going to the magnifying glass or Windows icon on the bottom left and searching sleep. On Windows 10, you'll see the first option that pops up is power and sleep settings. Go ahead and select that and then adjust the drop down under sleep. For more information on sleep settings, check out our links in the video description. Next thing to check is that the Bark desktop app text your child's iPhone or iPad over Wi-Fi now that we've completed the first time setup. To do so, unplug the device from the computer, make sure it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the computer, and check the device on the dashboard in that iOS monitoring section I showed you earlier. After some time, it should display a green Wi-Fi symbol if it finds the device over Wi-Fi. If the Wi-Fi symbol is gray, it means we did detect it over Wi-Fi last time, but just aren't detecting it right now. This could be because the child's device isn't home and connected to the Wi-Fi. Maybe the device is turned off. Uh, so that's okay. Next time they're home, see if it pops up as green. If it does not find the device after some time, you can find our troubleshooting solutions in the video description. You can also contact our support team. We're always happy to help. However, it may just be a slow Wi-Fi day, so feel free to plug in the child's device to the computer for a plugged-in analysis. You always have that in your back pocket as well. If you have any additional questions about monitoring iOS devices, don't hesitate to reach out to us at help at bark.us.